Welcome back, my friend, to another Stevie T reaction video. This one's top 10 most hated bands. Let's go and see what it's all about. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey I'm Stevie T, and uh, there's a lot of hated bands out there, let me tell you. But I've always been intrigued as to why these bands are hated. So today we're going to do a top 10 most hated bands ever list. Ever. And, I do need to clarify before we get started that just because a band is hated doesn't mean they suck or that they deserve the hate necessarily. Because let's face it, you have to be loved in order to be hated. Or at least right. that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> so here's number 10 on our list. Oh, ACDC. No, <laughs> I don't want to say ACDC. <laughs> so the main argument as to why people don't like ACDC because all the songs sound the same. Oh. How in the hell? You shook me all night long in big balls. And that's another problem that some people have with ACDC yeah. is that yeah. they don't like Brian Johnson's vocals. Oh. I like the song. I like the tracks. Big balls. But what's not I remember like? that. <laughs> okay, so maybe Brian Johnson's vocals aren't everyone's bag of onions, but they have their formula. They've had that formula for many yes. decades, and it works for them. It does. Why would they want to change? It I does. actually commend them for not changing their style just to fit in with a current trend or because a label told them right. to change. So stop hating on ACDC because they're really, really kind of neat. Yes. Metallica. Now, I... Mm, I hate to put Metallica on this list, but the fact is, as much love as they get, they get a lot, it's of, a lot hate. of hate. And it's like, you know, it's like, why? It's freaking Metallica. But I think the reason why they get a lot of hate is because they've changed a lot over the years and people in general don't like change. They don't Metallica like Metallica started off as a thrash metal band and they sold out and did the Black Album with a oh. more mainstream sound which was kind of a kick in the nuts to all their original <laughs> thrash metal fans. And then Metallica starts to get a little cuckoo magoo. They do the whole load and reload thing. They bust out the fur coats. They bust out the eyeliner. And let me tell you, the original Metallica fans, not big on the fur coats, <laughs> not big on the eyeliner. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. And then Lars and Kurt get all up close and personal and they, they're like gonna like do some oh, stuff. Whoa, just a little bit okay. of experimentation. Uh, whoa. Like, look at that. Kurt oh, Hammett's just ready right. to give a little bit of like ah, to Lars's mouth. Mm -hmm. That's what Metallica fans wanted to see. And then Lars <laughs> had this thing with Napster and was like, oh, downloading music illegally. Mm -hmm. Poor little guy. Oh. And then the mm -hmm. 2000s roll along and they bust out the- But the thing about that band is that if some bands don't change, to what's going on they, they get left behind and it's pretty bad but then some sometimes they do it and they actually get more fans and you know they keep on succeeding so yeah it's a it's a gamble it's a gamble i gotta say it, it's a gamble the atrocity that is known as sane anger <laughs> and who was the genius that decided <laughs> you know what we should do <laughs> We should do a full album where the snare sounds like this. Dun, 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 dun. It was weird, man. I don't know. And Kirk Hammett didn't solo at all. Oh. Then after years of touring and then releasing Death Magnetic, which actually garnered some pretty positive reviews, they kind of Good. brought it all back. And at the end of the day, they're still Metallica. And besides... Yes. We all know that Dave Mustaine created thousands of accounts just to hate on Metallica online. <laughs> we all know that. Black Veil Brides. I don't even know who Good that is. Black Veil Brides or B -b -b. Now, or maybe I do. I don't I don't. appreciate them musically. Their guitarists are sick. Don't hate me. Leave me lonely. I have opinions. God. <laughs> and I actually think Andy Beersack's a good singer. Don't punch me again. Wow. In fact, a lot of people say that Andy's singing sucks, and it's like, dude, we live in a world of nut-grabbing, helium-sucking, estrogen-induced singers. My girlfriend broke up with me, and now my heart is broken. <laughs> you know, Beersack actually has depth to his voice. You know, he actually sounds like he's not compressing his scrotals. But I think a lot oh. of the hate for Black Veil Brides stems from the fact that they're labeled as a metal band. You're like, that's oh. their hard rock. 
That's not metal. Like Nickelback is metal, so. <laughs> So that coupled back. with the fact that they kind of look like 1984 era Motley Crue, or maybe a lot of people wow. think Black Veil Brides because Andy Beersack's belly button is three inches away from his nipples. That is really weird. That is super <laughs> goofy. And what if I always told what? you guys, you can never, ever trust anyone whose belly button is three inches away from their nipples. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. <laughs> what? <really> something. <laughs> Essentially, Winger? with the onset of grunge, 80s hair metal became the laughing stock of the world. And the one hair band that everyone decided to pick on was Winger. You, they, they essentially became the Nickelback of the, the Nickelback. early 90s. <laughs> what? For example, Beavis and Butthead poked fun at oh. Winger. The character oh. Stewart, the nerdy kid that no one liked, he wore a Winger shirt. I, it's been a long time before I, that I have seen Beavers and Butthead bed. I when I was young, bed I used to watch them all the time. Oh, why do you why do you gotta be making fun of Winger though? Stuart, <laughs> what a wiener! And on top of that, <laughs> in Metallica's music video for Nothing Else Matters, Lars actually throws darts at a Winger poster. What? Dick move, man. So that certainly didn't for win the Winger any fans. But lest we forget, Why? Winger Brian? is a great band, and Red Beach is one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Super unappreciated. So there you go, a little bit of history trivia about Winger. Doesn't have the same effect as Metallica. <laughs> That's like the title, or at least. Now someone recommended to me that yeah, Lost a, 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 is one of the te worldwide Tetris games, of Ian. Atari games. Lost Profits? I remember them being a sick band. Back in high school, those guys were the actual tits. They were amazing. They were. Did they work? But I'm curious to see why I, they would be hated. I never heard them. Okay, I never so heard of Ian was the singer. Oh, okay. Apparently he was sentenced to. What? What the f? That is this. What? Oh. <laughs> Well, there's one <laughs> band I'll never be able to listen to ever again. Great! <laughs> Congrats, sicko. You just got yourself the number six spot on this list. <laughs> what? What? Banana? Oh, oh. Banana Pickleball. Oh, Banana don't pickle me, you're just sitting here playing one of U2's newest songs. Yeah, new as in 1952. And that's one of the main <laughs> things that people have to say about U2. It's, it's that they've been riding on the same songs for decades, and they never work, release though? anything new or interesting. Does, does it work, Can though? You two give us something that is new? And they're a good band. Edge is a great guitarist. But then there's Bono. Oh, good old Bonmeister, you know, the uh, Yoko Bono. <laughs> I think he's a great frontman, though I will say there's something super ironic about Bono taking pictures in third world countries while wearing sunglasses that are like probably $10,000. Is that kind of goofy? I don't know. A little insensitive, maybe? You know, kind of like, click, hey, Sell kid, the glasses? $10,000 watch. This watch could feed your village for a whole year. Give it? Wow. <laughs> click. But who are we to judge, really? He's done amazing charity work, right. regardless. So anyways, yeah, a great band that I'm a fan of, but a lot of haters due to Bono and his Bono nucleosis. Bono nucleosis, an abnormal inflation of the ego generally attributed to lead vocalists. Symptoms include douchey behavior and failure to acknowledge bandmates as equals. All right, <laughs> we're getting closer to number one. So now we're going to start seeing bands that actually kind of deserve the hate they get. These bands are actually going to start to suck a little bit. A lot. A lot. Coldplay. Oh, you know, I know Coldplay. Coming. Coldplay, or as Chris Martin calls it, the Chris Martin Band. But yeah. they've had some good songs uh. in the past when they're not busy ripping off a Joe Satriani song, of course. <gasps> <laughs> and you know all the. I like that Coldplay song, man. Comes from the people who don't like Chris Martin. Rule the world. But you know who does like Chris Martin? Chris Martin. 
Chris at least that's how he comes off, and it just rubs people the wrong way. And another <laughs> complaint people have about cold. Hey, 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 there's nothing wrong about loving yourself, man. You know? I mean, you gotta love yourself first. That's how it's supposed to be, right? So, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with that. Cool play is that their music is just boring. It's just tedious and boring. And even Chris Martin sounds bored when he's singing. Oh. And I will try to f you. Wow. Stevie? Creed? Wow, it looks like Creed changed their entire lineup. <laughs> this is great! No more Scott St Oh, okay, that's a movie poster. Yes. Well, I guess Creed still sucks then. Uh, see, here's the thing. Creed anyway, doesn't actually part three. suck. Mark Tremonti is a fantastic guitarist. Not that you'd ever know by listening to Creed. And everyone says Creed's songs all sound the same. With arms wide open. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking. <laughs> They got some good songs, man. Come on. Good songs. So that was three Creed songs right there. I guess their songs really do sound the same. Or maybe everyone just hates Scott Stapp's voice. Scott yeah. Stapp should probably be spelt like this. Scott Stapp. Just Stapp. What? Well, you did me Boobies, nose, and tits to a place where what? <laughs> oh, oh, DJ? Got DJ you know, right now? I was kind of sick of that vocal style after the grunge era. No one wanted to oh. hear anymore. But all no. that being said, they were huge back in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. They did the money. And their music brings back some good memories for me. It does, man. And his belly button is three inches away. <laughs> hey you know what though something that's like old to somebody there's a new generation that find older uh artists they end up liking them and they they're reborn again like the music you know what i'm saying or even they're even redone <laughs> remixed remastered oh we're gonna be limp biscuit i like limp biscuit i i do they're cool I like his oh, song. Here we are. The hate train like has songs. arrived. Limp oh Biscuit. no! Even the name Limp Biscuit. It's like, what were you? Th what were you thinking? Limp <laughs> Biscuit roughly translates to weak cookie. Oh. No, no one wants to listen to a band called Weak Cookie. But let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what <laughs> Zach Wild thinks of Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit can all that weird. Limp Biscuit can suck our big mother. <laughs> what? All right then. No. Right, okay. Then. I'm starting to get the impression that, that Zach Wild doesn't like Limp Biscuit that much. In fact, <laughs> it, it sounds like Zach Wild thinks they suck <laughs> a lot. But what makes Limp Biscuit one of the most hated okay. bands ever? Well, for starters, Fred Durst has a severe case of bononucleosis. I mean, come on. the rest of Limp Biscuit, really talented guys. Okay, who's that old guy on the right? Is that their dad? They're all old though, you know what I'm saying? saying? just like, <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't approve of what my children are doing. Oh, now, okay. let me ask you something. Between Fred Durst and Vanilla oh, Ice, Vanilla Ice? Which one of them looks more douchey? I actually don't <laughs> know. And let me tell you something. If someone I like Vanilla decide, Ice too. Who looks more like a douche ice, between ice, you and Vanilla Ice? It means you're a douche, okay? Oh. And let's face it, a lot of people Ooh. blame Limp Bizkit for this whole new metal shtick. Deciding it was a good idea to put rap and metal together. It's like, why would anyone want to do that? Dick it's... move, man. Okay. Limp Bizkit still sucks, Well, well, well. <laughs> we made it to number one. We all know what band is in the number one spot. And honestly, I have so much to say about this band that... We've actually run out of time for today. What? But I will have to address them in a different video. Can I, I don't. I don't know what Limp Bizkit did. I mean, 
in rap and metal. I mean, that's just somebody else's generation that they would enjoy. I like him. I like the music. You know, I like actually I like all kinds of music. There's everybody everybody's coming out with different music. They're mixing different type of genre with other ones and that's how you get new types and and some of them sound good, some sound bad, but hey man, that's just the just to this just the music evolution. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. Uh, I don't think he's gonna get to this one. Oh, okay. Can you guys guess what Ben is? One. Oh, he is. Look at this photograph. My girlfriend so ugly, it really makes me laugh. I never this. I never this. That was funny. <laughs> all right man I, I enjoyed that video man some of the artists i mean not artists but metal bands i i didn't know some of them i did know <laughs> but it was still very interesting <laughs> all right man you guys want to watch another video of steve terber you can start right here and thank you for being here with me have a good day hit the like button it always helps and <laughs> i'll see you in the next one bye